hello hi happy saturday i hope you're good today's the start of my weekend reading vlog i just had my cup of coffee and i was gonna plan on reading right now but actually i have to clean a little bit and i also have to go get groceries because i don't have any more food well i have some stuff but i want avocados and i want potatoes and i want other vegetables so i'm gonna go to the store right now it's early and i want to get it over with now before there's a lot of people out and about so i'm gonna go shopping I'm going to come home and clean, and then I'm going to read, hopefully. And I don't know if I want to continue reading The Reddening. I feel like I'm not that into it. I kind of want to pick up a physical book because I haven't read an actual physical book in a while. So I don't know which one I want to go with. So we'll see what I end up reading. You'll find out soon. I'm back from the little veggie market that I like to go to. Here's what I got. It's not a lot, but it's what I like, so. Potatoes, because I love potatoes. A giant bag of potatoes. I'll go through this really fast too. I also got zucchinis because I love zucchinis. And I got four avocados because I eat an avocado like every day. I got carrots, two bags because I also eat carrots so much. I either air fry them or I steam them or you just eat them with hummus. And then I got this bag of local fig bars. Can we focus? Focus. They're raspberry flavored. Um, I really like fig bars. I think they're delicious. So just to have as a snack. And then lastly, I got three sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes taste like heaven. They're just so good. So good. Okay, it was really hard to pick out what I was gonna read today. I decided to put my Kindle down because I've been so obsessed with this for a while now. Um, I will return and read more ebooks, but I decided to pick from this area right here because these are the books that I've been really excited about recently. I was almost gonna read Footsteps, Footprints of Thunder because this is the last dinosaur book that I'm gonna read and then I'm gonna make that dinosaur video. So I honestly should be reading this, but I think I'm gonna read it during the week. Um, so instead of that, I could have also picked up more of the Count of Monte Cristo because I should, um, but I'm feeling fantasy. So I was kind of in between Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks or Malice. And honestly, Malice is a full series that's completed that I can read. And this has just been calling my name for so long. It is the first book in the, uh, oh, the Faithful and the Fallen series. And I don't really know what it's about, to be honest. Let's see. So there are kings and battles and worms and other stuff. I don't know, but it sounds really good. And I just want a fantasy series that I could just fall in love with, like I did with Witcher. Witcher is up there. Uh, if you haven't read Witcher, you need to, but I just, I'm gonna read Malice today. We'll see how far I get. I probably, will I finish it over the weekend? It's a pretty long book, so I don't know, but I'm so excited, so Malice. This is gonna be a little free library, maybe, possibly, we'll see. I'm now 50 pages into Malice by John Gwynn and I don't want to be dramatic or anything but I think I'm in love with this book. Um, I love the writing, I love the setup, I love the characters. I just, I don't know, I was really in the mood to start a fantasy series and this just fits the bill perfectly. Um, I can't necessarily tell you everything this book is about because it feels very vast and complex but in this fantasy world, there was this big battle between giants and and other creatures and kings and I believe um, the original perhaps god of this land uh, eventually kind of ran away and left everyone just to fend for themselves and now it's years and years later and we follow three different main characters. There's Corbin, there is, oh gosh, what are their names? I, I can't really pronounce them, but let me try to tell you. There's Corbin, Veritas, and then I think the other character, oh, it's with an E, 
e Evnis. Okay, I found it. I think it's Evnis. Anyway, we get uh, chapters from each of these characters. One is a young boy who just kind of, he just wants adventure in life and he wants to be a fighter and he just wants to uh, do well for his family. And then you have another character that has to uh, help the king's son and he doesn't really want to be there. And this other character feels like he is kind of I guess the bad guy or helping the bad guy he's gonna help bring uh trouble to to the land I'm thinking so I, I can't really tell you much more than that because I'm honestly just in the beginning but the characters are very very interesting to read about and I'm so excited to see where the story goes I'm gonna read for I don't know how much longer but Albert and I are gonna go to my sister's house and we're going to have a movie night so I guess I'll show you that we're gonna we have a projector so you'll see a projector in a bit hello update I just read a couple more pages of this book and I'm here to tell you that I was wrong there's actually a lot more perspectives we follow in this book including the sister someone else probably more people there's probably gonna be a ton of different character POV chapters in this story so forget what I just said beforehand there's a ton of characters that we follow but I'm still really excited It's now Sunday, almost noon I want to say, and I'm still in my pajamas, but you know that's okay because it's Sunday, I go back to work tomorrow, and I'm gonna be lazy today. Honestly, I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna be lazy, sit on this couch, probably sit on another couch, maybe lay in bed on that couch over there too. I'm just gonna read everywhere in my house and I'm not that far into malice unfortunately. I only yesterday made it up to page 68 but I will say that I'm loving this book so much. It's everything that I wanted and I was just really busy yesterday. Um, we were doing a lot of kind of housework and then we went to go see some of my family to watch a projector movie night. It was really nice because, you know, we could be outside while still not being too close together, but we can watch a movie together um, within each other's presence, if that makes sense. So it's really nice. I would recommend buying a projector uh, because they're really nice. Um, anyway. I'm gonna read for the rest of the day. I just made some coffee as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna drink coffee. I'm gonna read Malice and then I'll eat something eventually, but I'm still not hungry yet. So yeah, those are my plans for today. Not much. I'm gonna be lazy. So yeah. So it's now Monday, the afternoon-ish. I just got home from work and I didn't vlog on Sunday like I was hoping to. I fell asleep early, I didn't read as much as I thought I would, um, and yeah, I haven't even read today. I read up to a page 180, I believe, of Malice. I was tired on Sunday and today I was really busy with work and then I got home and now we're here. And I plan to read a lot more today, hopefully, um, but I'm really, really enjoying this. I would say that if you enjoy fantasy and you want a book that's filled with a huge cast of characters that's very political, but still there's a ton of action and adventure and there are giants and there are these big snakes that kill people and try to eat them and whatnot and I feel like this book's gonna just g slowly grow on me as I keep reading and I feel like I'm already attached to some of the characters. I really like Corbin. Um, I'm really interested in Evnis. Is that his name? I forgot. He like he just seems like he's got this dark side but he has some what of a redeeming. I don't know if he's redeem he's redeemable at all but 
I'm interested nonetheless. I'm really enjoying the story. If you really like fantasy, then I would really recommend this. I guess I haven't read enough to fully recommend it, but I'm enjoying it so far, and I feel like if you love a good fantasy series, then it would probably be perfect for you. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you had a really great weekend, and I hope you have had a good start to your week so far, and I don't know if I'm gonna do another weekly vlog for this upcoming week. I might, but at the same time, I might wait wait until Friday and then do a reading vlog for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, perhaps. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind. If you want me to continue to vlog, then in the comments below, let me know and I just might do that if I remember to bring my camera and to, you know, update you. I'm so bad at this, but I'm trying. Um, anyway, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you later. Bye.